Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. Now, I may not be the best shot, but I can guarantee that at least one bolt will meet its mark, and you'll find yourself rolling on the floor in agony, unable to heal yourself. Without Swineheart to save you, you'll die. I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You sure about that? Yes, I'm quite sure. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? How about I bring your corpse back to the woodlands instead? You're not going to kill me. You'd bet your life on that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out, but I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. And I don't think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. Oh, I don't think so. We're not doing this your way. How unfortunate. I was hoping we could make this work. What are you gonna do now? Rip me apart like some kind of animal? Killing me here would achieve nothing. And what would Miss White think? You show up with nothing but a corpse. No answers, no proof. You'll never know the truth, and she'll barely stand to look at you. Is it worth it? This is it for you. You've said enough. Where the hell is Big B? Oh, come on! Where is he? Are you fucking kidding me? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, any minute. And then we'll get started. 
I really appreciate you taking the time. I know it's short notice, but given the circumstances... What have you done? Oh, God. Bigby. Shit. He killed him. Holy shit. I didn't think you had it in you, Bigby. Stop it! You ripped him apart! I told you to bring him back alive! You really fucked him up. What did you do? He's all... You did this to him? Why? It's over. Crooked man is dead. No shit. I thought I wanted him gone, but this... It's terrible. No, it's not. What the hell happened? Tell me. Tell me why you did this. I think it's pretty clear. He nearly ripped his head off. Please, explain yourself. I had to do this. He was a danger to all of us. I couldn't risk bringing him back here unless I removed the threat. And you felt comfortable making that call on your own? Look at him. Oh, God. Would it have been that hard to restrain him? Did you really have to murder the man? Hang on. It's not murder. Then what would you call it? Justice, maybe? This is not justice! You know it's not. Why not? This is Bigby Wolf doing whatever the hell he wants. Which, in this case... You can't do things like this anymore! It's too late for that discussion now. He's dead, so let's move on. So, that's it? We can't just move on. That's all you have to say? Well, I think he did the right thing. If this guy killed Faith and my sister... How can we be sure of that? Without a trial, what evidence do we have? We never had anything concrete. That's why we needed him here. Are you telling me the killer might still be out there? Why'd you kill him then? Crooked Man was the prime suspect, but without his testimony, we have nothing. Georgie told me everything. The Crooked Man made him kill those girls. He gave the order. Georgie? Where's Georgie now? If we bring him in for questioning, we... What? Where is he? Bigby? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing. That doesn't answer the question. Georgie and the Crooked Man were guilty of murder. I made sure they couldn't hurt anyone else. You mean... So he's dead. Is that what you're telling me? I don't even know what to say to you right now. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. You're on board with this? I don't know. I mean, it's not like the Crooked Man didn't deserve it. And if Georgie killed him... You think anyone deserves this? Your job is to keep Fabletown safe. The minute you start abusing your position by attacking people, we betray the trust of this community. And killing those people out there, on your own, without my... without due process, it makes us look like... like... killers? How could you do this? It's just one thing after another. Look, I'm glad he's fucking dead. But like this? What does it really matter? He could do this to any of us. Things got out of hand. I... I just wasn't thinking. I can't believe this. I made myself very clear. This is not okay. Snow's right. This is disgusting. Oh, it's much worse than that. What? Are you guys buddy-buddy with the crooked man all of a sudden? What the fuck is wrong with you? Grand. Everyone! That's enough! Bigby, I can't protect you without the support of this community. The minute you kill another suspect, or burn someone to get them to talk. I won't be able to stop them from calling for your resignation. And yours. If that happens, I can't defend you. Do you understand? He's not gonna listen to you. I'd like to see them try. I don't plan on going anywhere. You keep doing crap like this and that won't be up to you. Listen. Maybe you were right this time about the Crooked Man, but what happens when you're wrong? The second you make a mistake about someone, I won't watch you become a murderer. I think it's too late for that. 
I'm not a murderer. Good. So how do you explain that? That's not- Bigby, don't. Having some personnel issues, Miss White? Can't control your mutt? Bluebeard, this is hardly the time. It looks like as long as the wolf thinks you're guilty, he has free reign to murder you in your sleep. No, that's not how- Is this how... what we can expect from now on? Yeah, you make one mistake and Bigby's gonna rip your head off? Hey, that's not fair. Nah, I'll just bat you around for a while. Make sure you get thoroughly fucked up. That's not going to happen. Or just beat us to death. Are we even protected anymore? If we're throwing out the charter... We're not throwing out the charter. How do you expect to enforce that? Don't be ridiculous, beast. I'm not about to... You think I'm being ridiculous? We all know what you're capable of. You nearly gouged my eyes out. Beast. Please, the sheriff isn't you going see? to... The wolf does whatever the hell he wants, and the princess is no better. Now, hang on a minute. You don't believe me? They came to my apartment, and then for no earthly reason, they burned my tree to ashes. She ordered it done. What? Why would you do that? If you ask me, you're both monsters. Snow, she was helping people glamour themselves as other fables. We couldn't let that continue. I can't say I'm fucking surprised. I am. Snow, how could you do that? You ruined my life for no reason at all. What else were we supposed to do? There were other options. Look, that's on me. I'm responsible. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. So I put an end to it. What choice did I have? You can pretend it's about law and order, but it's time you stopped lying to yourself. You wanted to get back at me for what Crane did. But that doesn't justify it. You both just act out of your own selfish desires. It doesn't matter what's right. At this point, I'd rather have Crane. You don't mean that. At least Crane didn't kick the shit out of everybody. Or destroy what's ours. He also earned the position. Don't start. He left us alone. Things will only get worse now. You can't really believe that. What the hell is wrong with you? You fucked up your own lives, dealing with criminals, making your own bad fucking choices. And now you want to blame us for your screwed up situation. I've been trying to fix the mess you made. How dare you? Is this how it's gonna be? You're gonna blame us. Bigby's right. You people don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Do you seriously think you want Crane back? He was an asshole, and he didn't do shit for any of you. Snow and Bigby found my sister, when Crane wouldn't even look. Yeah, but they only came around when they thought it was Snow White who ate it. No, they cared about Lily. They care about all of us. Even if they've got a funny way of showing it sometimes. Thank you, Holly. Oh, come on, Holly. Maybe Snow gives a fuck, but Bigby? I mean, this, I get. But I didn't do shit wrong, and I got tossed around your fucking bar. That was different, Gren. Well, they haven't done anything for me. Crooked Man screwed me over, and then this asshole just came by to make it worse. Everyone, please, just calm down. We have a right to be heard. Are you afraid of what we have to say? This isn't helping. I'm not finished. Like we give a Need shit. some help, Miss White. Just a minute. This can't continue. Listen. <gasps> Baby. Don't. Please, do not blame the Sheriff for his outburst. It isn't Bigby's fault. He can't control his nature. And frankly, I wouldn't dare ask him to try. But with a Sheriff so impulsive, shouldn't the new Deputy Mayor have at least some command over her office? Little beard? Are either of them fit to run this town? Can I say something? Excuse me? Nerissa. Who the hell is she? My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, please step aside. Wait! How long have you been standing there? I have something to say. What is the meaning of this? You're done. I haven't been able to speak my mind for a long time. We were prisoners at that club. We had nowhere to go. No one cared enough. Certainly not Crane. You're acting like they haven't done anything good in the last few days, but you know that's not true. Because of the Sheriff and Snow, I can finally talk about what happened to me, to all of us. We're free now, and I think that should count for something. Thank you, Nerissa. 
She's right. We haven't been there for you in the past. And I'll be the first to admit we've made plenty of mistakes. But I truly want what's best for this town, and we're trying to make things right. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And I'm sure Bigby does too. It's going to take some time to clean up Crane's mess, but he's gone now. The Crooked Man is dead, the killer has been found, and you can all rest easy knowing we're here to look out for you. I'll make sure of it. While that's all very touching, is it enough? I'm still not convinced Miss White has what it takes to control the Sheriff, or run this town. I am. We haven't really given them a chance. Crane just left. Let's see what Snow and Bigby can do on their own. I trust Snow to do right by us. Bigby too. I think they've had enough chances. Things are finally changing around here. Maybe you don't feel it, but I do. Bigby and Snow are good for Fable Town. She's right. Now that things have settled down, I'm sure they can do better. And we will. Right, Sheriff? Of course we will. We're not like Crane. We'll look out for you. We'll see. You see that? It's finally over. Good riddance, at least. This won't end well. Shit. It's over now. 